A very warm welcome to the Gallagher Stadium, the home of Maidstone United Football Club. This is the DFDS Kent Football Association Senior Trophy Final. Here is Town against Croydon. The two teams make their way out onto the pitch. Let's take a quick look at the two lineups. First of all, Aerith Town, their manager Adam Woodward, assistant manager Russell Bedford, and the coaches Alan Foreman and Simon Green. They're in the yellow and blue striped shirts. In opposition, in the all blue of Croydon, their manager is Liam Giles, assistant manager Taylor Maddock, goalkeeping coach Daryl Matthews, coach Matt Capon, and the physios Donna Powell and Brandon Christian. Today's referee is Joe Danpai, assisted by Mitchell Jukes and Tom Amber. Howard Collins is the fourth official. Here's Bogle, all down the channel, pulled back by Reba. Dangerous ball in, Morgan. The go, he does. Oh, what a goal it was from Ryan Palmer. 34 seconds on the clock, and Croydon have just got off to the perfect start with the perfect goal from Ryan Palmer. What a strike! He decides to give it a real go, and he dipped over the top of the goalkeeper. Mackenzie Foley couldn't do anything about it. Superb strike from Ryan Palmer. Cross flash towards goal, it hits the bar, and the rebound is tucked home by Ollie Milton. Great header by George Goodwin. It came back off the bar, and the quickest to react was Ollie Milton for the equaliser. Great header, this goalkeeper's beaten. It's a simple tap in for Ollie Milton. James Dyer. That's inside Palmer who slips. Dyer has a go. That's wide. Another assault down the right hand side. It's pulled back. A little flick towards goal. Harry Taylor straight into the arms of Camarazzi. River. Going to get the better of Tom Ash. He does. Just across the face of goal, and there wasn't much between ball and post. Palmer, no delivery yet. It's flicked on. Oh, it's a super save. Ryan Hall thought he had an opening where he was going to score on the stroke of half time. Great save by Mackenzie Foley. This is a deep one. It's pulled back and slipped home. Early Fisher gets on the end of the pullback by Ryan Hall, and the trams are back ahead. Great ball in. Look at how Ryan Hall gives it his all to pull it back across goal. And he knows exactly where Uli Fisher is and he slides the ball over the line. And for the second time in this game, Croydon have the advantage. Uli Fisher with the goal. Big challenge coming in from Aaron Bugle. And it's back up for Aerith into the penalty area. It's pulled back on the volley. Great save by George Camarazzi. Stoke a strong right hand in the air. So left hand side, it's flashed in. He's good in the air, is Harry Taylor, but he couldn't hit the target with that one. Straight over the top. No chance here. Another good save. Strong handling again by Camarazzi to keep out James Dyer. James Dyer. He's for the far post. And he very nearly got a touch from Laddie Melly Onion. A good save by the goalkeeper again. Knocking in the door here at Irith. Ball is pulled back. And this time it's dispatched in the corner by James Dyer for 2 2. 14 minutes to go, and they've got an equaliser. And you have to say, Irith Town deserve it. Pulled back. And it's just planted into the corner. It's a very good finish from James Dyer.
wins it in towards goal. It's a header, which is brilliantly saved. It's a super ball in. Pass into the box. Oh, great save. Harry Taylor got a head on it, and somehow George Camarazzi kept it out. Ball forward from Richard White, but it's defended well. And off goes James Dyer down the middle. James Dyer, we're into the last minute. James Dyer, he's surely won it now for Erith Town. His second goal in this cup final. And James Dyer gives Erith Town the lead for the first time in the Kent Senior Trophy final. And it comes in the very last minute. Side steps the challenge of Aaron Bogle. And from outside the box, he finds a way of beating the almost unbeatable George Camarasi. It's a good finish. Not even George Camarasi can keep that one out. Keeping it in the corner. Seven minutes of added time, but no more. There goes the final whistle. It's victory for Erith Town. Two goals for James Dyer, who twice had to fight back from being behind. It's been a really good cup final, this one. And Erith Town have won the senior trophy final by three goals to two. James Dyer comes to collect his player of the match award. Two goals for him. And up come Croydon to collect their runners-up medals. Got to be seven minutes and two seconds. Croydon uh, fought through against Rochester, Canterbury. Need an extra time in that game. Hollands and Blair and Whitstable Town to make it through to this final. It just wasn't to be for them today, despite twice taking the lead. They were ahead inside 35 seconds for that wonderful strike from Ryan Palmer. And full credit to Erith Town for coming back and winning it with a last-minute goal. The goalkeeper there, George Camarasi. The back of the queue. Big G is his note. And he made some exceptional saves. Kenzie Foley, the goalkeeper of Erith Town, meets up the Erith Town players to collect their winners' medals. They've been scoring some goals in this competition, 18 in four. They started off with a 6-1 thumping of Sutton Athletic away from home. Then they beat Fisher and Snodland Town, both of them at home, both by two goals to nil. It was a nice 8-2 victory at home to Larkfield and New Hive in the semi-final. Three more goals for them today. Two for that man there, James Dyer. And for their captain, he's got his hands on the trophy. Ryan Mayhill lifts the DFDS Kent Football Association Senior Trophy. It's congratulations to Erith Town, the winners for the 2023-2024 season.